this is my rack. Tell Zellyet list. He's a pretty good commander. I started incorporating the power level of the deck in to the, the title at the start here. I'd say it's a 6.5. It's full of uh, anthem effects which make our creatures bigger. Anthems are good, but they're only good if you're ahead. So here we go. Authority of the Councils. We already went over the card numerous times. Unless, whenever Venomous March, Night Counselor, unless a creature you get a one time boon with when you cast a creature spell, that creature enters with an additional one way counter. What unless means is he can tap a creature that's not attacking and basically inherit his attack as an attack and defense. Dauntless Bodyguard, you choose a creature and then you can sacrifice him and make that target creature indestructible. As for Sentinel, whenever, they cast, whenever your opponent casts their first non creature spell, they gotta pay the amount of Esper Sentinel's power. Alright, if they don't, you draw a card. Fragment Reality, we went over this. Exile Target Non Token Artifact Creature Enchantment. It's, con it's Controller. Takes a random creature from their library and places it onto the battlefield with lesser mana value. It does it for you because it's an arena only card. Paladin Class is sweet. Those your opponents cast during your turn cost one more. Uh, creatures you control get one plus one plus. And then whenever you attack until end of turn, you count all the creatures you have. That target creature that you are at attacking gets 1 plus 1 plus for each one. It gains double strike, which means it deals damage twice, both first strike and regular combat damage. It's a win condition. Because eventually if you build it up enough, you can swing in and win. Source of pop shares, XL target creatures, controller gets uh, life equal to its power. This card goes in literally every white list. You'll get sick of it. By the time you play your arena, you'll get sick of that card within a few weeks. Battle of Night. Whenever it uh, gets removed from the battlefield and sent to the graveyard, put a 1-1 counter on target knight you control. Or Sworn Paladin has menace and he's a 1-1. One -one. You can tap him, pay 1 life. Pay a target token, you gotta pay 2. And then you can pay 3 target creature gains to attack. And then if it, uh, mana from a treasure was spent on that, they can also gain death touch. Inquisition of Kozilek. It looks at your opponent's hand, you pick up a 3-drop from it or less, and they discard that card, target non-land. Pay the Even Legion, or Even Legion, excuse me. Uh, you can pay 3, he gains 3 attack and 3 defense. And then if any player loses 4 life during a turn, he gets a 1-1 one -one counter, and he gains death touch with his, uh, our pump effect. Thought sees your opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non land card from it, they discard it, you lose two life, it goes in every black deck, pretty much. Knight of Grace has first strike next group from black, and then whenever a per uh, person controls a black permanent, it gets one attack. Paladin of Atonement's just here because he's a knight. You get a new Toki. If you lost life, put a 1 1 counter onto him, and then whenever he gets removed and sent to the graveyard, you gain life equal to its toughness. Revoke Existence, Exile Target Artifact or Enchantment. Worthy Knight, whenever you cast a Knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one human creature token. Worthy Knight's pretty insane and constructed. Blackland Spirit Guidance and Ambush Blocker. Got Flash, you can play it at instant speed. When it enters, a target Knight gets a uh, lifelink and death cut with an Ambush Blocker. Meaning it ambushes a uh, creature and guarantees death. Get rid of it because it's got death cut. Flash, Blood Carrot, Praise Paladin. When he enters, he counts the amount of creatures that got removed and sent to the graveyard that turn. He gets a 1-1 counter for each. Not even does shadow. Uh, it has menace and opponents can't gain life and it gets like an anthem effect or a, a ritual effect where it gains one attack and one defense. Knight of Malice is the opposite of Knight of Grace. Whenever there's a white permanent, he gets three attack or an additional attack. And it's got uh, hexproof from white, and it's got first strike. Order at midnight, uh, you can uh, return a creature from your graveyard to his hand, otherwise it's a flying creature that can't block. Smith Starbaster has curry flavor, you count the amount of knights, and you drain that much uh, from your opponent. Drain means they lose life, and you gain that same amount of life, and then it's a 2-1 with lifelink. The Elder Spell, you can target any number of planeswalkers, remove them from the board, and send them to the graveyard. And then you take one of your planeswalkers and put loyalty counters on it for each one removed. You t put two of it, 
two will loyalty and power moves on the planeswalker for each one that they lost. Their opponents lost. And tri our triumphant adventurer has death touch. Then he has first strike as long as it's your turn. And then whenever he attacks, you venture into the dungeon. Which is a little another mechanic. You just kind of pick a dungeon and whatever it says on the dungeon. You do that one step and you every time you venture, you go through the steps of the dungeon. And it eventually accrues you more value. Corpse Knight. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, your opponent loses one life. D-Spark, exile target permanent, your opponent controls. That's mana value for a greater. Fracture, remove target artifact, enchantment, or creature, or, uh, planeswalker. Humiliate, cherry pick a card from your opponent's hand. After they reveal it, they discard it. And then, uh, a creature you control gets one, one, uh, one, one counter. Vanishing Vlas, Exile Target, Monocolored Permanent, Arcane Signet, gets you a mana, Acclaimed Contender, when you play her, as long as you have a knight, you can, uh, look through the top six cards of your library, and you can grab a legendary artifact and equipment, or a knight, place it into your hand. Only one of those three things, it's not multiples. Adeline, Resplendent Cathar, this card's insane, has Vigilance, whenever you attack, she spawns a one win human, and her, uh, Power is based on the amount of creatures you have on the board currently at the time. This counts when she's in your deck and graveyard, too. Or in exile. Any zone, that star is applied. So if you have one creature, she has one attack. If you have zero creatures, you have zero, etc. Finalist Marshall. It's kind of hard to play, but other creatures you control get one plus one plus. They have the Capuchin Paragon. First Strike Vigilance Lifelink. Equipment and Aura Spells cost one last to cast. She's insane. She's pretty good. Guardian of Faith, Flash, Vigilance. When he enters, you can uh, phase out any number target of your creatures, so he protects your whole team. If there's like a boar wipe, he can kind of flash down and protect the whole team. Or if somebody's too big and they're blocking the chunk block, you can protect them. I have History of Benelia, and it's first and second chapter. Creates a 2 2 white knight with Vigilance. And then it's third chapter, knights get two attack and one defense until end of turn. Dara self is paladin, he vid has vigilance, and when he enters or attacks, you venture into the dungeon, and then if you finish any of the dungeons, he, gain, he is an anthem, he gets, gets your whole team 1-1. One, one. A wedding announcement, when you play it, it starts ticking down, if you attack with two creatures, you draw a card, if you don't attack with two creatures, you get a guy, and once it flips, uh, you get it. every creature gets 1-1+, one plus, one plus, it's an anthem. Probably one of the first good anthems in the game. Probably one of the only good anthems in the game, rather, too. Leon Sandberg has Flash. Then he counts the number of creatures that were removed from the board that turn and sent to the graveyard. And you draw a card for each one of them. Midnight Reaper, whenever one of your creatures gets popped, uh, he draws you a card. As long as it's a non-token creature. So it has to be a physical card that gets removed. He's extremely good. Murderous Rider. You've seen this before. Uh, Swift End removes a creature or a planeswalker. You lose two life. He's got lifelink, and then when he gets popped, he gets returned back to the bottom of the deck. Knight's Charge. This card is sweet. Knight's you control whenever they attack the uh, green. Uh, your opponent for one life. One life. And uh, you can pay eight, sacrifice it, return each knight from your graveyard to your battlefield. I'm pretty sure the game pays, too. Uh, Bastard's Lieutenant's insane, he has Vigilance, protection from multicolored. When he enters, he puts a 1-1 counter in a creature you control. And whenever your creature you control with a 1-1 counter leaves the battlefield, they get replaced with a 2-2 Knight with Vigilance. Card is actually just excellent, it's just value city. Card is absolutely strong, it's very, very, very strong. Easily one of the better color uh, cards in its set that came from an M20. By a long shot. It's probably like the fifth or third, fifth to third best card in the set. Insanely good. So, kind of a long winded explanation on the Raw VOD. Going over what it does. The Raw VODs, remember, I do have Raw VODs of my stream, so you can check those out sometime too. They're all attached to my channel. Feel free to look at them. Or you can watch them on the Twitch as long as it's been within seven days. Otherwise, after seven days, they get deleted. Uh, Champions of Tear is flying and then double team. What double team means is when he attacks, he makes a copy of himself and places it into your hand. And then when he get, enters the battlefield, you get a boon 
where you can give a creature flying, life link, first strike, or a 1 1 counter. Um, Brush Contraband, that exile certain artifact and or enchantment. I like this card because it hits both. It's a little expensive, but it is an instant and it's an exile effect. That's why I like it. Kinsley Gavalier, three creatures you can draw. Double Strike, this is an amazing Lord effect. These types of effects that affect one creature type and make them better, or multiple sometimes, these are called Lord effects. Sanction event, you choose out or even. That's not each creature type that has, uh, or each creature that's frosted like that, like evens or odds. Pretty simple stuff. Hey, girl, Blood Pit, and hey, girl, Molly, you've seen this. Uh, and it's either a tap black source or it pops a creature on its other side. Jalvef's Lich Knight. This guy's pretty, he's pretty old school, but he's cool. He's got a kicker effect where you can pay uh, six. He's got menace, and if you pay his kicker, uh, he creates eight, two, two black zombie knight creatures with menace. That pretty much wins you the game on the next turn because that's like a lot of power and hard to block. Ritual Slit pops every creature with mana value three or less. Drop it, Drop Surfer has specialized and then he can uh, target a creature on your side and he gets they gain attack based on the amount of creatures you have in your graveyard. And he's got specialized. I'm not going to go over his specializes because it's a little bit long winded. Elena the Knight's the Dust Rose. He's a knight. She's got lifelink. And then whenever a creature gets popped, she gets a 1 1 counter. And then when she gets popped, she makes 1 1 lifelink vampires based on uh, her power. Resolute Rider, he's pretty cool, you could remove him and not feel too bad about it. Anyways, you can put two mana into him and gain life until on your turn. If you gain, put three mana into him, he gains indestructible. He's pretty cool. He's a bit expensive, all things considered, but I think he's a, he's still a pretty cool card. And that's super great. Alright, uh, Cathars Crusade, whenever a creature enters battlefield, your whole team gets 1-1 one -one counters. Uh, Cavalier Dawn, when it comes into play, he can pop a target non-land permanent on your opponent's side of the field and give him a golem instead. So they get a 3-3 golem. And then when he gets popped, uh, you return an artifact or enchantment for your graveyard with your hand. As you know, you'll see this in every whitelist I run. Pop all creatures or pop all artifacts and enchantments. Pick one or the other, not both. Danitha, Benelicious Hope, she's just here because she's stacked. First Strike Vigilance Lifelink. When she enters the battlefield, you can equip an aura or an equipment to her for free from your graveyard or your hand. We don't really play around her, we just play her for snap, but she's a lot better if you actually. Uh, Sir Owen, the Lion's Claw, he's got first strike, and then whenever he attacks each other creature, gains one attack and one defense until end of turn. Sir Conrad, the Grim, he's a really cool card. Because whenever a creature enters or leaves the battlefield, he uh, drains your opponent for one. They lose one life. And then he's got, he can mill hard. But he's probably one of the more interesting cards to build around, period. Just like, ever in the entirety of Magic. He's a really interesting card. Because like, he works with discard, he works with mill, he works with like, just straight up removing creatures via combat, or board wipe that. Use the, the D word. A Vanquisher's Banner, you put declare a creature type, and then when you pass whatever creature type you choose, you draw a card, and these creatures of the chosen type get 1-1. One, one. I just don't like playing this. This card's decent. It's just it's a little expensive, because it's uh, 5 mana. Farewell, you choose one or more. Exile artifacts, exile creatures, exile enchantments, exile graveyards. Excellent. Circle of Loyalty. Also one less for each knight you control. Creatures you control get 1-1. One, one. And then whenever you cast a legendary spell, you get a 2-2 two, two knight with vigilance along with it. And it can create uh, knights by paying 4 and tapping it. This card's excellent. I really like it as an anthem. It's only really, it's actually only good in knights, but... Nonetheless, it's pretty good. Most anthems are kind of pretty mad, but... This is one of the ones I... Kind of make an exception. I got pretty much the good anthems in here. You could probably run some interaction though, and you might want to. Some of the games it doesn't matter. Tomorrow Sun is excellent. Players can't activate Planeswalker loyalty abilities. At the beginning of your upkeep, you draw an extra card. 
I caught spells plus one last creatures you control get one one. This card is just an absolute powerhouse. Probably one of the most single card value cards ever. In the entire game, Magic, this card is absolutely insane. The only decks that doesn't go on is Super Friends decks, which play a lot of Planeswalkers. Mirror's Call makes Angel Warrior tokens and gives your entire team indestructible besides Angels. Or it's a white source that you can pay three to make sure it comes in play on tap. The last card you'll see that we go over is Undo Inversion. That's uh, Undo Inversion. It comes into play tap always. Or it uh, pops all nine land permanents. And then Agadim's Awakening. You can Agadim's for six. And you go six, five, four, three, two, one. And you grab each creature with one of those values each. So you can't grab two sixes, and you can't grab two fives. That's a lot of mana, though. That's like nine mana to do that. So it just returns the team. Alright, this is up against Dongers. We lose here. We start off with a Schnau, Boom, Snarl. Uh, snarl. That means that if you play it, it comes into play tapped unless you reveal a basic land of the types it calls for. Many partings, this card's pretty sweet. I gotta start playing that. You can search your library for a land. Oh, 
creatures. And then Gorakaw, the bird back in her uh, command zone. Well, she's a she. And then they play the other Gorakaw. It's a it's a Gorakaw with like some Surat guy. What it does is uh, it gives creatures haste and uh, the one one counter. Midnight's charge, and we play. Uh, Rider, say go. Murse Rider does have life link, so can kind of help us stabilize life a little bit. This is our doom right here. It's the Thrashing Brontodon. This Thrashing Brontodon, or whatever Rampaging Brontodon, excuse me, he has trample and then he gets attack and defense based on the number of force you control. So he's on the 15 15 right there. Now, granted, we got a little bit of life link, but it's a day, we're a daily and a dollar short. We get Cavalier Dawn here. DNS's effect to remove stuff gives them a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, it's too late anyways. Because we don't have enough mana to deploy another blocker. So. And whoever they play is going to get haste. And that spells our doom. So we just concede and go on to the next one. Good game, opponent. Boss comes here at uh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Rub against Captain Sax. They're playing a Tali Primal Conqueror. You've seen this card before, he's just kind of just like really good. Basically, wins the game by himself. He's just a very kind of unfun, unfair commander. They're just kind of ramping him out. So, we don't have enough removal to uh, like kind of remove their mana dorks. Which is all the guys are playing anyways, they're just guys that make mana. But they're not swinging. This match is pretty quick because they pretty much just can see because they don't really feel like playing against this commander. Because it's not fun. It's just like, the best are always the same. The game's are always the same. Because when Natali comes down, he takes cards from the top of both deck until he gets a castable spell. And you play them both for free. And then he can pay like 9 mana. And he becomes indestructible, and he puts poison counters. Based on how much damage he does, he becomes an 11 11, which is enough to win with poison counters right away. Because in my previous video, we talked about how poison counters defeat a player once they get 10 of them. And instead, a player has 10 poison counters, they're instantly defeated. Anyways, there's my time of industry here. <laughs> Big value card, that's why you see it a lot. Green list, it just. Very good to value. Good finisher for green. Again, what if you don't know what it does, you can put a shield counter on stuff or on a creature. Uh, it can make a full full rhino. Target player gains five life or pops an artifact or enchantment. Yeah, we draw a little bit of a card from uh, Esther Sentinel. But they're, they're way ahead of us. <clears throat> so. Take some damage here, block to get that rid of that shield counter. Unfortunately, don't have the board uh, like to restabilize. Pay a Ben Rush dude. Not looking too bad. Pretty sure they just use the Tali's effects here. Because, like I said, Tali's just not fun because he can die and just win the game by himself. That's all he does. That's all these guys actually do. It's like, you just kind of, I then need to remove the mana dudes right away. And then they have like one class towards a hunger, which taps on our lands for hunger. We just can see good game opponent, you got us. This one's also a loss. We at least did get uh, very lucky that day. Uh, that's uh, Pence's all his son's favor. Whenever a dinosaur comes to play, you discover X where it's X is its toughness to discover. It's kind of like a fixed version of Cascade, where like, you look at that many cards and you can like cast a spell with like, I think it might be specific mana cost, or maybe a little bit less. It's just Cascade heals through your whole deck, so the spell is kind of a fixed version of it. But it's still ultra powerful. We just didn't really get lucky this, this time while playing this deck. Sometimes we get lucky with it, sometimes we don't. Like I said, there's, there's a, I don't know, a few variants of Controlling list that maybe only plays like about 15 creatures because uh, Rauzat, our, our commander, Rod, he draws.
draws a bunch of creatures anyways. It starts to box her and do it immediately. It's kind of annoying as it does though. It starts to box her as you play white in this game, you'll see that. Like literally every game. It's very rare not to see those source boxers. Oh, uh, Commander's ability can only turn it once. They grab a world intervention, so they can put that back into their hand. They do have an either, but it can't attack or block. Unless they have the City of Blessing, which is Denver, Pope, Bar, Total Permanence. They go ahead and cycle out their dude. Usually he pops an artifact or a jam in there, but they instead so they can draw a card. We look and see why we can't enlist. Enlist the creature can't have some sickness. Because when you play it for our creature magic, it has to be idle for one turn before it can act. Unless it has an ace. A dauntless bodyguard, we go ahead and Bodyguard Rive. We go ahead and uh, pop the dinosaur down game. So they find Carol's form. What that does is you pick a creature type, and creatures of that type cost one less mana to the boy. And then, like, at the start of your turn, you can look at the top part of your deck. And if it's that type of creature, you just put it in. But I'm playing World Stun here. We have Liss. We're enlisting our commander and trying to get it to work. So we send eight the direction, we have Boom. We grab a uh, murderous rider with Rodic. So that's one of the better parts I hate to grab. Rodic's like, uh, his choice of knights are some of the best in the game, honestly. He gets you into a really good uh, spell to pick from. That's what that's called. Uh, they play Galt, or they find a Galt and Maiden. They, this is what uh, causes us to lose. They play Galt, Stampede, Tyrant, which means they can play every single creature from their hand for free. Which they put like three or four creatures down here. It's every single permanent. The big animation there was Carnage Shiner. Carnage Shiner has Hexproof, Trample, and Game. Then they get a summer and tide. All those uh, abilities on the stack fizzle. They don't do anything. And then they get a 12 uh, 12 dinosaur or a 4 4. Because it only counts the attackers once. It's a bit, it's a bit like, like we, we would need a board right here. Because that calls a stampede timer. Which we don't quite get there. Go ahead and get rid of her anyways because she has a 12 12, which is absolutely irrelevant. We debate the smaller ties, we can't really pay them. We're thinking we're trying to get a black source or something. Because if we get a black source, then we can play Murder Spider. I'm trying to get them to a little bit. But right here, we would have needed a board wipe. Otherwise, if we would have got a board wipe, we would have been fine. But we didn't, so it is what it is. We're going to black source here. So we can attempt to play Murder's Rider. Go ahead and stab the board one of the dudes. Trying to save ourselves in this situation. Go ahead and stab the other dogs up. We're all going to mention, so they protect it, and we just see there in the game moment. That comes to the same beat time, really, guys. Alright, that's what it is, it is, yay. That's what it's 15 minutes, this is actually like 100 minutes, you can use what? What about us, Quinn? That's the piano with our piano, so why is the piano? I don't say that the angel fast cock. I just have no idea what I'm going to beat that over for. That's how I sound you But she's kicking him out. That's exactly what I'm saying. The ancient face cock. 
Oh, yeah, she has to sit at the back. She can't be caught. And she can hand me the game wave. She can tweak her, and then you can discard her, and she can damage. I think it's on a target creature, plants be caught. Maybe it's any target. Based on the amount of value of what you pitched. And then her eat is. Whenever you cast spells, she like does damage to stuff, and you draw your cards or something like that. I need to look again because I can't remember. Anyway, so it won't be a chest I can free. Yeah, so we, we just got a year to do that. That's like, you could change it out. Maybe I will move some of them you'll send out to me yet. But they're like, they don't need white cards, but they're not exciting by any means. Because like I said, you could have like you are playing like a way out with that. How we can free, yes, maybe play, playing 10 to 12 point charts. And that's kind of one for getting out of here, because you really want to just see this, so you can get rid of everything on the board. You know, you use that efficiency. So I'm playing that, yeah, which is two of the best for me to play yours. So that's the way you can go with this. As well as a word I can tell you, he has that early in a can, so. When he attacks, he always gets knights. And then those side knights can get you more knights. So, and he's got uh, yeah. like two of his knights and requires can remove things because he gets carried out to it. And I think he gets carried out to it because we, you can have him boss out in that club and when he enters play, you can sacrifice a quantrol and uh, he can remove a quantrol. He can play a bit. And then when he gets played, I think he returns quantrols from that one or to the battery fight. I don't like remember because I don't plan the card on it. And that's why I mean, more as well, I don't know. But I don't know, I remember I could have up to seven cards on him. And sometimes, even at that point, I just thought, it's like, oh, before you plan cards, even if you want to, you hit that into a random version, but I have you now. And that, but you're not playing it because they're playing it's a chess card, which is where we land you. So I'm happy luckily this thing has uh, cycle yours. We keep going with black sources how much is kind of so you have to be because we have to see some black. Go ahead and swing. Wait, where are you? Is this another trust of quite yours? We're going to uh, your mama just as you can cheat for you. I was like, hey, because it doesn't matter if you're just going to hell. Because it is a your mama too. It's a force to be an element. It can return a quantro from your one or to your hand. So you can make it also from your hand again. It's a full of wild animation. It's one of the theoretically worst effects. The wild animation is usually cheaper. And we casting stuff from your hand isn't bad, especially if they got ETBs. Well, if I had a lot of worse fighting out about that. Took them a call back, see what happens. Now go on here. Time to remove your work on your house, so things can remove. Have you ever been in this? That's just fewer hours to send to a thing, then make a few fewer, and then we tap down two of our things. Now that we have a return, or a command of one to your hand. Right. Because we can't take the effort back on the command zone, but when you run out of that, you might have spent the matter if you want. You don't have a close move on it anyways. So yeah, I said, that's, that's weird. Like, you can really kind of just be like, yeah, we are like working for you. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to want to sometime. That'd be a quality player, how you know, that's an axe spell you can get. So much mana and so much dice, like, like fit. That's trippy axe or five times axe. Yeah, it's trippy axe. How much is the right of it? That's why I should say you can axe it for you. Oh yeah, boy. Right there. I should say it's two mana instead. Against his, and then a bone smack to their hand. We think about playing how you this. We have the mana and partial wine at this point to kick him. Yeah, well, we'll weigh that. Bang! You just kind of lost me, you kind of lost me. Because he, he's yeah. like, why not have a dual lab with us then? Have a co-op too. Just a little bit to see. Yeah, but the way you meant to, it's a few of you are rather than a thwack thwack, so you're going to go on it. 
Can you all remember when she's on flying and she can't walk? I think you're like blue black. You know, the same thing. Watch, X is the creatures and you incubate X, Y, X is the amount of creatures you need. That means that token gets X with one chaos, which you will invite. I'll put two in a quack and eat them. I'll see the white vet again, I'll try to shake him. Turn back to him. Yeah, you're not going to eat Um, so we're just gonna hang out waiting for what I'm late spent to have us out. Or how it does. The young ones are the treasures. And the towers, towers are poor. The towers are poor on what I'm late spent so it gets removed. A tower poor where they can do three hours to quench all plans with a lot of people that are all found on Hamlet. To me, the really few cores like here, we can have few core tabs for. I'm mad at it. Absolutely mad at it. I'm mad at these book tours. We're going to have a little bit of two points in your head and mad at it. That's a little bit of a mad at it. I thought I'd want to have a pretty much the same thing as book. Because I don't have the answer to your trail to get to one of those two mad at it. It's a little bit of a mad at it. What's going to be the hack space so that can be like just put the bitch of mad at it and stuff? And hit face and do like I'm going to be a fan of the I'm going to be a fan of the game. I'm going to be a fan of the game. I'm going to be a fan of the game. I'm going to be a fan of the game. I'm going to be a fan of the game. I'm going to be a fan of the game. And then the third part is you make a quirky reflection of Kiki Jiki. Now Kiki Jiki is actually like banned on some few months last year. Like, when this pilfy creature is printed at its time. Cause he can tell that my copies and stuff, there's a lot of infinite copies with him. He's the ones that that uh, the quirky splinter twin got uh, banned. Cause I really like a hello. And we are talking about and then we just go out for a minute each other. That's the one that bad move of a fax version because I don't have haste. And with the action of Kiki Jiki, him and Water Shock is bad at all. So that's going right to here. Which means I look at the top two cores that are yet one and they're keeping at the top. You're sweeping the wound. From like how many you can swear. Like if you swear like the way you can kind of show for you know you're a little bit. You want to put it like... Uh, straight to the bed and I'll get one out of the mirror. Then come across and say, of course we're swearing, don't say it too much, and what's the way I got to do? And what? Few mana to your tail. Then some speed, but you can jump still that way. Paying few mana and just calling a clue. And then it gives you another chance to use it. That's when you spin you back with us back in the day. Back in the old yard when I was young. I mean, that was beautiful. That was pretty much one of the good times. And we can hear. Thank you for your mind. We want to be a little bit of 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 that's part of things, but it does it real soon. It does it real soon. I've done it three, three, so... I don't want to call it that. Why did it say it now? It's a three, three, because it's a few or six. Let's fuck it yet. So the three, three, so it's super threatening, but... Like I said, let's just wait. Uh, or wait up. Oh, that's cool, wait. Yeah. Let's wait up. Those are the other things you can do with them. Now it's a black heavy out there and you got one of those fans with the mouth black or something to cut the wolf reaction of Kiki Jiki. That's how you're not going to let it. Now the piano that comes to his answer. Touch a gun to your toe. After a toe sword to get outside. So. Like I said, that's a little mad show. I don't want to do this all, but this is what's for you to put up for us. Because we can't quite keep it with them. 
I lost her a few in the hand. What if I had it was and stuff like that? I reckon to want to sing if help was. And control us like this, you kind of. You kind of need Discord. I have way better options against these types of yeses to your distortion. Cause that, uh, gets rid of either an iron crunch or space. That's what's a pure shards on that. So, when it gets rid of either an iron crunch or space, it can't be cold on and it gets rid of either from your hand and graveyard. So, we are sat in the hand. They hold the cleansing move it. And wrap it the blue water of crunch shards. Like a restaurant here. What thing could have been if you want to shock him out on that? This man. Yeah, what they might. I think that more is weirder. Because what they might get 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 his up going. I fly a black night and it says uh, if I tell you my black night, it gets his up going. Uh, that guy, uh, a thwang one, it's like a thwang one and I can sacrifice it so if I put your effects on enchantments. And so I can throw a commander or something like that. I was a friend of that other horse set. I have to throw the cord with a water stay. And this time that don't touch the cord or anything. As you can see, she's kicking him in the head. Oh, that's really a mess on the ancient face kick. I guess it's, oh, it's kind of like a abortion. What he does is he acts like he's talking to a lamp who will run the matter of that floor. Well, yes. And then, if he gets popped, uh, or removed in any way, shape, or form, uh, you get a, uh, quench or take on a 2-2. Oh, um, that's an X X. That's X equals that's a. And the man of the line, the court at him. X A. Let me add an A to speed now. I think that's what a plan to work on. That's what it's for. That's for my plan to work on for me. And that court they have in their hand, the man in their hand. I got a man like that with the Elder Spoon and I said, why not with the Moor set? I put that little bit of form. Because that's what that is. That's because if I shot the Tramp, that word up. Oh, yeah, no, excuse me, Tramp, that don't do this. Let us kick off with us and make a bunch of zombies. Because even here, we heard a Tramp of Fuel set the Chaos Speed, that just don't count. No way, that way, I'll be the Elder Chaos Speed until that helps you need it. Which makes sense. I haven't tried to engage with the Tafawa. I don't know. I don't know what this convention shows it. That bit with the commando. I try him. Uh, more I swear I can show you back and then we won't act. We can't see that to us how it's going to. That's one type of building. So I think it's in the five of me. How I call this in my cure. That's what I say, I have some sort of yes on how because I can't cure the five of two voices. But I have like some sort of cure, yeah, and I can't really stay in any type of situations. That's what's going to run you the game, is just something you have in your court. You push your car out, stabs, and then the increasing vengeance could be a so, uh, where I think that's the test. Let us stop here on the bottom back. Because we're going to get the blood group here and it's just like, yeah, as we can see, or whatever. Because at this point, this is where we use that color with that other stripe, it's where it takes the one out now. Because that's trying to get that yellow. So, we might cut it out. Uh, they don't have to yell to. Yeah, because we're not used to the end. Here. We had a stab yours. That was fun. Yeah, I was even funny. I'm gonna say, I had a few, let's see. That's a good game, Peter. Thank you for watching.
All right, that's the end. Uh, you can click the buttons. Those are my links to my Twitch, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Obviously, found my YouTube. So thank you for your time, viewer. Really appreciate you. Goodbye.